What up, food tubers? It is DJ Barbecue, and today we're welcoming a new chef, a new personality to the food tube family. It is the one and only Gizzy Erskine. Hey, hey, food tubers. Gizzy, welcome to Food Tube, mm -hmm. and today we're gonna do a dish that I've had from you on the live grill on the charcoal. It's great off the barbecue, but it's actually even better the way it should be, which is Korean fried chicken. KFC. It's KFC. It's the other KFC, caramelized and crisp. Really delicious. So, so, should we do some cooking? Just put some buttermilk in here with a load of salt. So we're actually going to be buttermilk brining this. All right. That's something that I do beer brining, but I've never yep. heard of buttermilk brining. Yep. I mean, it's the same philosophy. Essentially, you're concentrating all of the flavor into the chicken wings. Now, will you go and go into the fridge, put that in there. That needs to marinate overnight. Um, and get me the other one out, please. OK. OK, so these have been marinating overnight. Now, flowers. The first flower we're going to be going for is just self-raising flour. And that, what that does is it adds puff. Then we've got some potato flour. And what that adds is chew. All right, so it, it makes everything. Chew. It adds chew. adds chew. You wait. And then we're going to go for some rice flour, which adds crunch. What's the this? Thing, the thing, that's some white pepper. Is that yeah. because you don't want the burn? Black pepper is actually quite fiery, and this is more of a heady, aroma, a, a, aromatic pepper. Okay. So I'm using it more for that. Okay, so I'm wiping off the marinade, which has been the brine, essentially. We're just doing a really simple, light coating. If you've got a good flour and you've got a good buttermilk brine, it will puff up the second you put it in the fat. It's about 140 degrees. Celsius. And this is how you typically fry Korean wings. But it's also a French technique where we're actually going to confit the wings. When I think of confiting, I think of Coffee. Coffee. Stop being American. S sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> my, my fault. I'm actually from Wales. <laughs> Boil. <laughs> so, what is con confiting? Con so confit is to cook in fat, basically. It's to cook very gently in fat, in a really low heat, until they're cooked through. I just never thought of doing chicken at such a low heat. I'm always thinking you want to get them really crispy. Yeah, like, well, like, you when you do, like when you're doing like um, fish and chips. Yeah, watch this space. I'm watching it. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning, man. I'm taking notes. <laughs> we're going to cook those for about 12 minutes and then we're going to take them out. We're going to ramp up the heat and we're going to cook them again. So we're twice frying them. So they're going to get nice and crispy. Um, what we're going to do now is make the sauce. Korean barbecue sauce? Yeah, it kind of is based on, on a barbecue sauce method. Okay. In the fact that our main ingredient is this guy. So I'm going to pop in some ketchup, Tasty. then sriracha, probably the best chili sauce in the world, or at least the best Asian one. It's super spicy. Cheers. <laughs> That's spicy. <laughs> Gochujang is a Korean chili paste. It's made in the same way that you make miso from soybeans that are fermented, but it's also with Spanish chilies as well. It's a staple of Korean food. Those are two um, big, heaping, heaping teaspoons. Well, yeah, big, two big, heaping, heaping teaspoons. We are then going to add in rice wine vinegar. OK, so the one thing I've got is to add the sugar. And then finally, we're just going to put a bit of salt on, into that right now. And we're going to let that cook down and get, I mean, it's already pretty syrupy, but we want it just a little bit more of a clingy texture. Then we're just going to chop the green parts of the spring onion. Spring <laughs> onions, scallion. I try to look after my American brethren, you know. This is almost used as a herb, so we want them really fine. Would you grab that um, pan for me over there? Yeah, I'm just going to take these out. This is going to take ages, but I'm just scared okay. I'm going to break them up. So we'll, hold on, we're going to hit the fast forward button. Watch this. <laughs> it's amazing how you do that. Yeah. Now it's time to put up the heat to the absolute maximum. So that'll take, just take about a minute to get up there. What's going to happen is you can see these are really white and pale. When we put this in here now, all of the sort of chickeny juices are going to come out and it's going to concentrate around the edge and it's going to go golden, caramelized and crisp. Right, so this is going to turn us, going a bit berserk. Uh -oh. We can hear the difference in it, the fact that it's suddenly really fizzing away. It's getting crazy okay, over here. Okay, that can probably go off now. All right. But what we got, we've just got to add two last things to that while, while this is finishing off. I'm going to add in a good knob of butter. If you have any chicken fat left over, chicken fat is amazing in that. And this is some toasted sesame oil. Oh, lovely. So we, this will make it really clingy. Sure. Okay, I'll do this. Right, so this is what we're looking for now. It's super crunchy. It's golden brown. You've got these sort of caramelized bits around the edge. That is pretty much bang on. Right, so these have been drained now. I'm going to take the paper away. We've got one last bit of love to give them. Pour over some of this sauce. And we want to, we're going to sort of toss these. You're crazy. <laughs> I want to party with you, cowgirl. 
I'm staying over here. <laughs> okay. Tiny bit more of the sauce, more sesame seeds. Finally, we've got these guys. The scallion. Spring onion. Spring onion. So, free and fried chicken. Now can I get angels to sing as we <laughs> yeah. lift this dish up? Ready? Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, they're singing for a reason. Those look amazing. Please make sure you subscribe to FoodTube. There's a button over there in that corner, and then I'm gonna throw a little button in that corner for DJ Barbecue. If you guys wanna subscribe on that bad boy, I'd be really, really stoked on your awesomeness. Now, Gizzy, mm -hmm. are they, are they um, cool down enough for us to mulch? That's French for eat. I'm really clever. I'm gonna have a go, I'll let you know. What? Mm -hmm. Come on, girl. Get me mm. in here. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. Juicy, crispy, and like a full flavor. That's a party in my mouth, man. It really is. And I, and I, and I paid attention. So I'm gonna make <laughs> this myself when I get home. Mm -hmm. Let's get a beer. Let's get a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.